Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can multiply decimals and fractions. So as far as rules for multiplying decimals and fractions, um, in terms of the sign, we can think about the same rules we use when we multiply or divide integers. If we are multiplying or dividing with the same sign, then our solution is going to be positive. So negative times a negative would be a positive, positive times a positive, also a positive. And if we have alternating signs, so one number is negative, one number is positive, then our answer should be negative. So the process for multiplying decimals, hopefully you've learned in a previous course, we're gonna multiply vertically as if just multiplying two, um, two digit numbers and then once we get our multiplication answer, then however many decimal places we had in our initial problem, that's how many decimal places we're gonna have in our answer. And, and I'll show you that for number one and number two. And then for three and four, when we're multiplying fractions, uh, we just multiply straight across, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and we need to simplify if necessary. Um, for number four, notice we have a mixed number in there, so we might have to um, change that into an improper fraction, which we've done previous videos on how to do that, and then we can multiply straight across. So let's jump in with number one. So we have 8.1 times negative 1.5. So I know that my answer should be negative because we have alternating signs here. So let's just keep that in mind. But for now, we can just do 8.1 times 1.5. So when I multiply this, I'm gonna do five times one, which is five, five times eight, which is 40. Now, when we multiply like this, we do a placeholder zero here because essentially we're multiplying um, not really one times one here, but like 10 times one, okay? So one times one, that would be one, and then one times eight would be eight, okay? And now we can add our numbers down here. So five and zero would be five, zero and one would be one, and four and eight would be 12, okay? And so now we look back and we saw that we had one, two decimal places, so we can put our two decimal places in right there. So our answer for number one would be negative 12.1. All right, number two, we have negative 7.6 times negative 0.3. So two negatives now, so our answer should be positive. So we're gonna write this at 7.6 times 0.3, and three times six would be 18. So I put my eight down here and I carry my one. Three times seven would be 21, and I add my one, which would be 22. Now, notice what happens here. I put my placeholder zero, but then I'm gonna do zero times six, zero times seven. So really that just leaves me with 228, um, and I read it as 228 because it's not 228 because now we have to add in our decimals. So we had one, two decimal places. So one, two, our decimal will go between our two twos, okay? So our answer for number two would be 2.28. All right, number three, let's, let's dive into some fractions now. Negative five sixth times negative three fourths. Well, we're doing a negative times a negative once again, so our answer will be positive. So five over six times three over four. Five times three would be 15, and six times four would be 24. Okay, now we have 15 over 24, and 15 and 24 would be both divisible by three. So divide by three over three. So that is gonna give me five over eight for number three. And once again, we said our answer should be positive. And number four, nine and a half times negative three and a third. So our answer is gonna be negative this time because we're multiplying a positive by a negative. Let's go ahead and rewrite both of these as improper fractions. So remember to do that, we do like that backward C, denominator times whole number plus numerator. So nine times two is 18, plus one would be 19. We keep the same denominator, so 19 over two. And then we would do three times three, which is nine, nine plus one, which is 10. So we would have 10 over three for um, negative three and a third. And I'm just writing that as positive right now. We'll make sure our answer is negative when we're done. Now we multiply, we get 190 over um, six. And so now we can look at both of those and we know that both those are even numbers. So they should be divisible by two. So 190 divided by six, or excuse me, one, 190 over six divided by two over two. And that'll give us 95 over three. And we said our answer should be negative. So negative 95 thirds for number four. And that's how you can multiply decimals and fractions. 